Inspired by the BBC microcomputer, the Raspberry Pi is re-engaging children with learning to code and fueling the imagination of makers. A new generation of young people are writing code and building devices across the UK thanks to the Raspberry Pi. Founding member Evan Upton talks about the phenomenal success and importance of Raspberry Pi in education. Back in the middle part of the last decade, uh, we found, uh, some of us who were at the university, found that we had a problem with admissions. We were finding it hard to find enough people to come and study computer science at Cambridge. And right, this is Cambridge, which is the best place in the UK to study computer science. It's the place where we built the first um, workable general purpose computer in the United Kingdom. Um, it's incredible that we couldn't find the, uh, we couldn't find enough people, enough six formers to come and study here. And we started to ask ourselves why that was. And the answer that we came to was that, well, this is a, you know, this is a direct consequence of the disappearance of those programmable computers that we had in the 1980s, many of which had in fact been designed in Cambridge. So this is a Raspberry Pi. Um, down the corner here we have a mobile phone jack. We use a mobile phone charger as our power supply. We have an HDMI connector for high definition video. We have a three and a half millimeter jack for audio and standard definition video. An ethernet connector, four USB ports. Uh, up the top here, general purpose I.O. This is what a lot of people use to build, um, uh, to do um, uh, physical computing projects with the Raspberry Pi. We have a connector for a camera and a connector for a flat panel display. But all of these connectors around the outside, these are really all about bringing out uh, features from this chip here in the middle, which was designed here in Cambridge. I think, so the Raspberry Pi name is, is due to John Crowcroft, uh, Professor John Crowcroft at the Computer Laboratory. Um, uh, I've actually seen the email, we went back when we started to become successful, we did go back and do the archaeology to try and figure out where the name came from. Um, Raspberry is fruit named computer companies, obviously there are a lot of fruit named computer companies. There are even one or two Cambridge uh, fruit named computer companies. So there was a, a company called Tangerine back in the early 1980s. And of course Acorn, which is probably the, one of the two, along with Sinclair, one of the two most famous Cambridge computer companies, and Acorn is technically a fruit. Um, there aren't that many fruits left, and, and raspberry is kind of the rudest fruit because it's kind of, you know, that really seriously that 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 figured. Um, and then Pi is Python. Uh, we're big fans of Python as a teaching language. Um, the sort of the Pi is the Pi from Python. The big challenge with Raspberry Pi was trying to produce something which uh, hit the price target very early on. With that, we had this idea we wanted to produce a computer that cost the same as a school textbook, and twenty-five dollars was kind of our idea of, of that price point. Trying to find something which met that price target. But which was also programmable, obviously that's kind of very important, and which was interesting to children, which would, you know, which would do things, which could play video, which could have good graphic capabilities, the sort of things that, again, they hook children, get them excited about the product. And really, through that period of 2006 to 2012, we tried a bunch of different things. We tried a bunch of different technical solutions tr to, to try to fit you know, more into that price point. And of course, we have Moore's Law on our side, right? You know, computers get faster over time. Um, and so over that period, we went from having something which was really very reminiscent of a 1980s computer back in 2006 uh, to something which uh, can play, you know, to the Raspberry Pi itself, which can play 1080p video uh, that we've been able to run Linux on and we've been able to install, uh, uh, we've been able to install every programming tool that you could, that you could imagine. Uh, but that really did, that took three or four steps, three or four very distinct steps to make that evolution. Uh, we launched on the 29th of uh, February um, 2012. Uh, which was a stupid idea because it meant our first our first birthday party wasn't wasn't particularly. We have a great fourth anniversary party, um, and we um, uh, we we sold a hundred thousand on the first day. Uh, we we crashed the websites of both of our distributors, uh, but even with those websites bouncing up and down, we still managed to sell a hundred thousand. So uh, yeah, a real surprise. This Ros Raspberry Pi has changed my life, I guess, in a couple of ways. Um, I'd always done a mixture of engineering and entrepreneurship when I was uh, when I was younger, but this has really, I think, kind of put the balance right the way over onto the business side. So primarily, what I do now is I run the Raspberry Pi business. I, I'm doing much, much more business than I'm doing engineering. Um, I think the other way is I got to work with my wife. Um, I'd never worked with my wife before. Liz um, uh, was Raspberry, really Raspberry Pi's first employee. Uh, she runs the uh, communications for Raspberry Pi, she runs the Raspberry Pi community. Uh, having an opportunity to work with your wife uh, as she does something really amazing uh, that isn't, wasn't even, a th when you got together, wasn't even, a, wasn't even a thing. You know, running a social media community was not even a thing back in 1998. And it's just kind of wonderful to have that opportunity to, to, you know, to, to, to work with someone you love. It's wonderful. You're probably sitting or standing somewhere in Cambridge watching this on a mobile phone. So we hope these films have inspired you. Collusion would love to see your Cambridge Invents interviews. Maybe you have an invention to share, or you know someone who does. 
You can use the hashtag Cambridge Invents to share your films with us and also to tweet us about other Cambridge inventions you'd like us to profile.